call to me, I will answer you and tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Jeremiah 33, 3. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. This morning, I declare over you favor. And that's going to be the word this morning. And the definition of favor is to give support or confirmation to. And the moment you become born again, the moment you believe on the name of Jesus, you have that favor because Jesus is God's favor. And uh, anyhow, my first words out of Job. But let me preface this by saying that Job was going through a great struggle at the time he spoke this. And, and when we're in trial and trouble and, and, and tribulation, most people, they begin to, uh, woe is me, God hates me, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't need to go into it. But uh, listen to what Job said. We should need to apply this to our lives when we're going through things, when we're going through growth. In Job 10, 12, he says, Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation hath preserved my spirit. The first part, granted me life and favor. And he's going through all these bad things. He's praising God for his life and favor. And that his visitation has preserved his spirit. I let the Holy Spirit, I just had a, <laughs> a quick revelation of this. I don't know if I could put it to words yet, but the visitation of God, the things that we go through, cause us to go closer to God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step out and say that in my own life, that when when I go through trial, I get closer to God, and that preserves my spirit, that keeps me going to the next level. And in Psalms 30, verse 5, it says, For his anger is but for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes in the morning. His favor is for a lifetime. These, we, we, we've got to get a better perspective on things. We need, to, we need to mount up with wings as eagles and get above our problems and look at them through God's eyes. And see how small they really are compared to the whole scheme of things. Because you're an eternal being. You will live forever. You will never die. And I'll let the Holy Spirit enlighten you on that. If that, if that bamboozles you and, and boggles your mind, don't be in awe of what I just said. <laughs> let the Holy Spirit enlighten you on it. But no, you have favor. No, you have the favor of God. And look at yourself favorably. A lot of people won't look at themselves favorably because they won't forgive themselves. I'm going to tell you something about myself. I like myself. I love myself. I'm awesome because God's making me awesome. I'm awesome because Jesus lives boldly through the Holy Spirit in me. I, I'm awesome because He's building a city in me. I have the favor of God. And I just pray that this word will go out to others and that they'll see it and they'll apply it to their own lives. They'll come into agreement with it. And in Luke 2.52 it says, And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. Jesus started out with the favor of God the moment he was conceived. He came to earth with the favor of God. But he grew in those things. He grew in wisdom. He grew in stature. He grew in favor with God. He had to walk from glory to glory just like we do. When Jesus came into a trial, a testing in his life, and I'm not talking about the 40 days in the wilderness, because he was tried and tempted just like we are. In every way. When he would come into those things, he would he would saddle up against his father and he would seek his father for the answer. He would get a heavenly perspective on his problem. And he would be able to see it in a different way. And that's what we need to realize, that we can do the very same thing. That we can saddle up against our God and say, Father, help me see this in a new light. Help me get through this. 
And that's what Jesus did. And that caused him to grow. And growth is painful at times. And, and for some people, that pain can last quite a long time until they learn that lesson, until they move on to the next place. But if we begin to come into agreement with God's Word and begin to go seat ourselves, we're seated in the heavenly places with Christ. The Word declares that, and I believe it, and that makes it true. Um, if we will get with God, get next to Him, climb up in His lap and say, Papa, I need help. Help me see this in a different perspective. We'll see how small that problem really is. But we have to believe that God, and that we're able to do that, and that we do have the favor of God. He grew in favor with God and man. He grew in stature and wisdom. I mean, when he was 12 years old, he went to the temple, and they were amazed at his wisdom. How he could carry a conversation with these learned guys who... We spend every day reading the scriptures, digging through them. They were amazed at his answers and his questions. And that's the way we should be. We should be just like that. We should go to God and grow in stature, wisdom, and favor. Now let the Holy Spirit sort that out. Praise the Lord. Praise your holy name. The enemy's not liking this message, but uh, praise the Lord. He's just a little fly buzzing around my head. <laughs> but praise the Lord. We can walk in those things. We need to walk in those things. Not just we can, we should, we do. Do walk in those things. <laughs> Glory to God. And I just want to say thanks for coming and sitting with me. And uh, I just want to say bless you, Dan. I thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace on this word. Holy Spirit for opening doors. Holy Spirit for unraveling spaghetti messes. Holy Spirit for your love for us and for what you're building into us. And Jesus, for your sacrifice. That you are God's favor in our lives. And that when we see things through the Spirit, we see a different dichotomy, I guess. <laughs> it just came out of my mouth. Praise your name, Lord God. And, and I just thank you for that. And we just see things differently through your eyes, Lord God. We have a heavenly perspective. And I just pray, Lord God, that we will take up the challenge and we will we'll begin to question you on these things. And we will see and we'll walk in them. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I want to exhort you to get before God. Get alone with Him. Get into His Word. Begin to praise Him. Begin to thank Him. Begin to step out in faith and worship Him. Begin to see things through His eyes. Ask Him for His eyes. His perspective. You're seated in the heavenlies with Him. And I just want you to have a blessed day today. We will see you soon. Bye.